It's week one of the National Football League, and there's no love lost between these NFC West foes. It's the Rams and the Seahawks, and it kicks off next on Madden NFL 24. It is a sound like no other when they raise that 12th man flag here in Seattle. And we just heard it. And that means it's time for football at Lumen Field. Today we start the new year with an NFC matchup on West. As it'll be the Los Angeles Rams taking on the Seattle Seahawks. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Well, CD, new season is here. Lions and Chiefs got it going on Thursday night. You and I were there. What a scene that was. But now here we are a few days later on Sunday. Look at the two teams with great expectations here to begin 2023. It's always fun to get a new season started, isn't it, partner? Because everyone feels like they've got a shot at the defending champs. They think that they can be the new champs. And here we are. New season of NFL football is here, and we're off in 2023 on EA Sports. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Russell Wilson leads out the Seattle Seahawks offense. The veteran Wilson, a third-round pick back in 2012. And similar to his nickname, Russell Wilson, that's a dangerous mix of skills. The ability to throw from the pocket and extend plays and throw on the run. Not to mention an absolute winner usually has his team in the playoffs competing for Super Bowl opportunities. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A well-executed 22-yard gain. From the gun, it's Wilson. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. And the Rams are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. That right there is the inauspicious start that they were hoping to avoid, the turnover on the first possession. I love how you use those college-bound words like that, inauspicious. Well done. I really appreciate that. Thank but here's the thing for me. I'm just wondering if their game plan is incorrect. You know, I think they felt like they could come in and throw it around pretty well. That interception early, they may rethink how they go about attacking. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. And trotting out there, a guy who's established himself as a veteran in this league, now in his fifth year at quarterback. We knew about the great mind coming out of Duke, and we saw the athletic ability and the potential. Watching it all come together and get better. And oh, right away, he lost the football. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. Third and 12. Now Jones. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Well, on third down, he wanted to go to one of his most dependable targets, and that's who he found, his tight end there, to pick up the first, Charles. And he used the proper word there, dependable, and sometimes spectacular, because tight ends nowadays, they can do it all. But they're the guys you trust, especially across the middle of the field where there's traffic. He delivers, and they pick up nice yardage. Throwing Jones. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, this one, CD, an interesting one to start the season in the NFC West. A lot of people think that this is the 49ers division to lose, but you caution not so fast. Remember Seattle 2022? A playoff team and the Rams, they took a dip, a renewed sense of purpose, renewed sense of optimism, and 13 picks used in the NFL draft. The Rams think they could be back a lot quicker. Going out wide, finds Chubb. 
And he's going to be about a yard or two short of the first here. He needed the 35, but didn't make it. So the completion good for six yards. And that'll bring up fourth down. And he missed it. It's no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field, ready for their second drive. And one of the things we like to hit on every year are the new rule changes. So we got a few for 2023. A lot are procedural, having to do with deadlines and roster construction and such. But the two kind of caught my eye, Charles. One is the option to fair catch a kickoff and have it come out to the 25 like it does in college. You like that? I don't. I don't like it at all. I don't like it in college. I don't like it in the NFL. I want to have something different. And I really wanted the special teams coaches to be a little bit more involved. But I do understand why the league is doing it. They believe it promotes safety, and it's hard to argue against that. What about, I mean, this is the other one, guys can now wear the number zero. We've already seen some make the switch. Calvin Ridley, DeAndre Swift, Braxton Berrios, amongst others. Yeah, and you know something? When you see those guys make that move, I don't mind that at all, all right? A little more expressionism for these guys. I love it. I just think we didn't go far enough. What about double zero? like Jim Otto used to wear, or Kenny Burrow used to wear. Let's add that back to the NFL jerseys. Wilson. Got this complete to Jahan Dotson. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. They'll run for it with Charbonnet. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. Good spot on the field to go for it. Kind of no man's land, as they call it. It worked out. Yeah, they call it no man's land because your punter is telling you it's too short. I'm just going to punt it into the end zone. Your field goal kicker might give you a little raised eyebrow. Might be too far for the field goal. So it gives you a great chance to go for it. Personally, if you have those tendencies to be aggressive as a head coach, you kind of like this spot because it gives you the decision to go ahead and go for it when you want to anyway. A first red zone opportunity of the new year here as they come up now first and ten. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Big Kenny Clark that time pushing up field to make the tackle for loss. So maybe just a momentary setback on what's been a great drive so far, but second and 13 here. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. Steps away. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. It's a loss of a yard, so they'll wind up crediting him with a sack. And it brings up third down. Wilson of the Seahawks looking for something big following the sack. It's third and long here. Out of the gun. Here's Wilson. And he'll only get this to the 17. Well shy of what he needed. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. I thought he did a pretty good job there to get back what he could, but let's face it, that sack on second down, talk about throwing a wrench into the works. It certainly did. Yeah, he did everything he could there, trying to pick up some positive yardage, and he did, but not enough. The folks kick is good. And the Seahawks grab the three nothing. Both teams kind of feeling each other out here. Now after three drives, we have a score with that field goal. Yeah, they're still waiting for their breakout drive to come to them, all right? They're using the playbook well. They're looking for that extra section that says touchdowns instead of field goals. But they'll take the three for now and try and get set up for more later. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. And Charles, nothing like squaring off with a division opponent, a division rival in week one. Do you like that they are matching up this early, or would you prefer a game like this be a few weeks down the road? I actually like the early matchup for a few reasons, Brandon. First of all, it allows you to see that the entire offseason and know, hey, right out of the gate, we're playing a division game. Second part is it spreads them out a little bit. If you just have them bunched up at the end of the year, 
that's not as much fun watching teams try to survive that gauntlet when you do have injuries down the stretch. And last but not least, let's face it, we're TV people. What a great game to set up right out of the gate. Third and nine here. Operating from the gun, Jones. And this is going to be incomplete. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they're going to have to give up the football again after this one. Here's the veteran punter Lee as he sends this one away. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their own 27. He'll begin by dropping it off to Montgomery. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 10 yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Offside. Defense. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. Now Wilson. Out of his hands quickly to Higgins. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rally to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Here's second and ten. This throw nearly intercepted. Oh, the big D lineman almost had it. But third down coming up. On third down, Wilson. Middle of the field, he's got McClellan. And the tackle going to be made at the 41 as they stop him a few yards short of the first. So they decline the holding penalty and will take the down instead as that leads us to fourth. A cook now on to punt as he gets this one away. That'll be out of bounds, and how good was that? They'll say the three-yard line. That's where they spot it. Three-nothing after one on EA Sports. The Rams with the football here to begin the second quarter. First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Now their 31-year-old running back, Raheem Mostert. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. And he's able to get him a small cushion before being taken down at the five, a gain of three. The Rams on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and eight. Looking to throw, Jones. And he is caught. He's going to have the first down and then some. Jarvis Landry, touchdown, Jarvis Landry, 95 yards, and the Rams have taken the lead. So from back deep, deep in their home territory, all the way into the end zone, you think they expected to score on that one? I'm not sure they expected to score, but they also showed that they're not averse to taking a little bit of a risk there, right? Taking a chance because the normal call is take care of the football, be safe. be safe. Instead, they put it in the air and took a gamble, and it paid off in a big way. That wasn't an analytics call. That wasn't a 
fantasy guys call. That was like a video game call right there. It was a little bit of a video game call, but it worked. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not have the balls go through goalposts. And he's going to be dropped following a pick on the seven, past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Here's a quick throw to Higgins out wide. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Now Wilson. This one swung out to Montgomery. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Now a stoppage here for an injured player, and it's David Montgomery who is struggling a bit. While the medical staff checks on him, we'll step aside in this week one contest. On first and ten, it's Charbonnet. Running right through it. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Good position to be in here, second and inches. to Charbonneau, and he'll get it inside the 30 to the 39. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. From the shotgun, Wilson. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, pressure comes and Wilson's going to go down. They could not contain Kenny Clark as he gets home for the sack. Wilson of the Seahawks looking for something big following the sack. It's third and long here. Throwing is Wilson. And that is incomplete. Boy, he did everything but hold on to it. But a nice play defensively, and now it brings up fourth down. On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. Yeah, this is away, and I don't think Landry will get a chance to return here. Out of bounds as he appeared to be looking for the corner. He got it. They're going to mark this at the four-yard line. So the roughing call there on the extra point ain't going to give him another shot. Pretty good sell job there, too. I think it was the All right call, but a little embellishment never hurts. A lack of discipline defensively on fourth down, and now that leads to a first and ten. Here's a quick throw out wide. It's McLaurin. So he gets too far beyond the line, and that's an easy call for the official. Still first down. On the toss to Charbonnet. And he'll be taken down at the 34. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaking up on that last play. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Here's Wilson to throw. And to find the open man. That's complete. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A field goal helps, but a touchdown gets you the lead. That had to be the message transmitted in the huddle. And the deliver there 
because that throw is going to keep the drive alive. And even better than that, set them up with a first and goal. And from the gun, here's a handoff to Charbonneau. Down at the two. Broke through first contact, but ultimately stopped shy of the goal line. From the two now, second and goal. Again, it's Charbonnet. And good work there defensively as they're able to keep him out of the end zone. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. It's now third and goal. Charbonnet will take this into the end zone for a Seahawk touchdown. So the second down run didn't work. They run it again on third down and get in. I wasn't sure if they might pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up down here around the goal line. Yeah, almost felt like the offensive line said, forget mixing it up. Let's call our favorite running play over our best blockers, and let's get this one in. Extra point up and good by Folk, and that will make this a four-point game. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. Pringle going to stay in the end zone, and this will come out to the 25. Certainly one of the leaders of this offense. There's Jarvis Landry as his crew gets ready to go again. He's done his part, but so far it's been in a losing effort, so they've got to fix something. But that doesn't mean changing anything, the way they're throwing the ball around and his catches and production. Keep doing that. They're going to have to put some things likely on defense to try and slow down their opponents. But so far he's north of 100 yards receiving. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. And again, it's Chubb. And he'll get about three up close to the 35. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle. That's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. Third and five. Understandable, we're going to see some of this first game of the year in a penalty. Yeah, we are, and don't forget the emotion of it all as well. I mean, they've been building to this crescendo the entire season, so we may see some of this in the early part of the game. Oh, that's well done defensively. They get the pressure they needed on third down. And the receivers are locked up tight, and they force their quarterback to just throw it away. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. And a fair catch signal for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now first and 10 at their own 23. Throwing to start the drive. Wilson. They'll give him four yards there, and it's second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And he'll have it pass midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That goes for a gain of 31. But he reminded us that he was a thousand yard receiver a year ago as he starts off week one picking up right where he left off he told us at the end of the preseason he was primed for a big year he just gave us excellent evidence of his belief so the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten on the give here Charbonnet and he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. 40 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. From the 33, here's second down at a yard. Here's Wilson. Throw right side, put in by Higgins. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25. down Wilson and that one complete once again to Higgins this will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker eight yard gain second and two second and a couple there's Wilson complete it's Dotson hang on now we're going to pause here we've got an injured player they always 
always hate to see injuries, especially tough here in week one. Just hoping this is nothing serious. We'll take a quick timeout. Again, Wilson. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. T. Higgins. A nine-yard touchdown run. And the Seahawks are able to add on to that lead. So a good start to the campaign so far for them here in week one. Yeah, all the things that you dreamed about in April and May that you worked on in July and August, getting ready for this game, it's all coming together so far. Fulk connects on the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Fulk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. Pringle going to stay in the end zone, and this will come out to the 25. A chance for us here to discuss Jarvis Landry. He's probably someone they want to get more involved at this point. Second quarter down on the scoreboard, and you know that he can be a threat. And because he's such a threat, as well as so productive, I'm with you on this. They've got to get him the ball more, give him more opportunities for them to have a chance to erase that lead. Certainly they'll be looking to get him even more in the mix this go around. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. To throw again, Jones. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. On third down, it's Nick Chubb. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. Boy, so that likely would have forced a fourth down were it not for the penalty. Instead, a gift of 15 yards. That's a tough way to get a gift, isn't it? But the yardage, secondary to what you just described. The big result, a free first down. Here's Jones on first down. Pressure comes. He's taken down by the Seahawks defense. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. As the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. And pressure coming and they got it once again. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. And now a fake on the jet sweep and again to Chubb. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Zach Charbonnet and his teammates back to the field for another drive. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. Now he's looking just to add to his totals. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. To throw is Wilson. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say we'll see what happens. Short pass caught by Henry. And unable to break away. They stop him a few yards shy. Now with five seconds left, not really enough time to run another play and then stop it. So on comes the field goal unit. It'll be a 47-yard attempt from the left hash. And McManus missed it. How about that? No good. Wide to the left. And they will remain two scores down as the difference holds at 11. Yeah, it's been a disappointing first half for him, all things considered. And this can serve as the capper. It's a missed field goal in the late going, and that's only going to serve to lessen the mood even further. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. 
All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. Let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. In the first half, we saw a strong performance out of the veteran quarterback, Russell Wilson. He's got a touchdown pass on the ledger as his guys were able to build a double-digit lead. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. From his end zone is Byron Pringle. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. And the Rams offense ready to begin quarter number three. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stock troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Second down, here's Chubb again. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going. Moving from back. Third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Won't we'll have any designs on getting back into this football game in the second half. They're going to need to be much sharper offensively than they were in this opening possession. Not much happening here, and it'll lead to a fourth down. On the return is Williams. 43 yards on the punt, return of four. And that will come the offense as they take over. Now we'll see what this Seahawks offense has in store with their first possession of the second half. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at about the 32. In motion left comes Williams. That's a jet sweep, Wilson with a little pop pass. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. So after the penalty, heading in the wrong direction, second and 15. Up the middle, here's P. Ryan. Powers through it. And a one tackle that can quickly brought down. A nice little game. Here's third and seven. Wilson. Being chased out left. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45 yard line. The rushing numbers for Wilson, maybe down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. Able to find Higgins. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that'll make it second down. On the carry, Charbonnet. 55 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. He's making quite a splash here in his NFL debut. Well, he was advertised as being NFL ready, and both you and I tend to arch an eyebrow a little bit when we first hear that. But I think that they were right about this one. 
Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target of the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him. Uh, find him, find him. They get six. That'll leave him with third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Now it's Wilson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. To throw again is Wilson. Buying time to his left. Fights off the defender. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. A good down to possibly take a shot. And in fact, they'll come up with an empty backfield on second and inches. Now it's Wilson. That's complete. Right around the eight. And the Seahawks are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven yard line. Wilson. And he's got it. Terry McLaurin, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Seahawks are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, that's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, in a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. From the end zone, here's Pringle. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. It's a foot race. We all know the teams never want to use the word panic, but if they expect to win this game, it has to start right here, right now. That return just set them up for points, and it needs to be a touchdown, not a field goal. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. The big kick return nearly resulted in six. Now they'll try to finish the job here, first and goal. Chubb will score. Touchdown, L.A. For as good as Nick Chubb is in the open field, he's every bit as good when they line him up down near the goal line. He's a speed back between the 20s, but a power back down close, and he forces his way into the end zone. Now McManus to tack on the extra point. And this time he gets it to go as it is up and good. A nice, tidy little drive there, getting the ball in excellent field position and only one play to score. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. There's Terry McLaurin, such an exciting pass catcher as this offense comes out for their next drive. Pretty good game for him so far. I guess he's still got time here to make this a great game, but so far, he's been solid. I like where you're going with that because it has been pretty good. But there's always that hint that things can really escalate for him. And right now, they, they feel like they're just somewhat keeping him in check. But he has found the end zone once. But boy, he can explode at any moment. Yeah, when you hit that end zone once, you want to find it again, don't you? <laughs> yes, you do. You get, you get greedy in a good way. He takes this for three to the 29. Here's third and six. He's the gain of three. Brings up third and six. Back to throw. Wilson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Out of the gun to give to Chardonnay. 
able to get this one all the way up to about the 46 yard line. 66 yards on the ground for him so far. From the 46, here's second and three. A give left side for P. Ryan. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. He's now third down and four. Now Wilson. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down. Although it doesn't appear to be by much. He needed four. He got four on third down. Run now with Charbonnet, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. The throw over the middle, taken in. This is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams 39. To the outside, that's complete to Williams. And they'll get this one down to about the 20 yard line. Another big game that time. This one goes for 19 yards. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Seattle, Washington. Altogether, a pretty shaky start to the year for this defense as they defend another first and ten. Finding Williams once more, complete. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the ten to the seven. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Here's Charbonnet. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Well, no doubt here in the fourth quarter, this is a huge defensive series. Hey, they can read the scoreboard. They realize if they give up a field goal here, this game might be out of reach. They understand the stakes and are playing accordingly. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. Making a hat trick for Russell Wilson. Three touchdown passes now. And the Seahawks are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. I think all teams probably like seeing that schedule for the first time. Looking at week one, oh good, we're at home. This is why you want to be home in week one. They're looking sharp. And I agree with you totally. That's what you want. But there carries a little extra pressure with that as well because you and I both know protecting the home field, winning your home games is paramount in this league. So you go into it, yeah, we want it, but now you actually have to go and prove it. Yeah, two sides of that coin and looking like they're going to protect it here in this one. Pringle going to stay in the end zone, and this will come out to the 25. The Rams offense now. They get set and head back onto the field. And they knew coming in that this would be a tough place to go in and win a season opener. But this has just been a performance, to be frank, not to be proud of here as they trail big in this fourth quarter. Now Jones. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Throwing Jones. That's out to Chubb complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. And those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. Give them a gain of five on the completion. And that'll bring up second down. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. 
as soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. Jones hit in the goal zone. Oh, one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. He's got room at the 30. Down the numbers. There he goes. Touchdown, L.A. Jarvis Landry. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Rams have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. When you're trailing in the fourth quarter, you got to take some chances you might not normally take. And here, that one pays off big time. And you have to think to yourself, not only did that pay off big time for them, but what was going on on the opposite side of the ball? They know that they have to take a chance here. They know they have to come up with something big, yet it still happens. So credit the execution, but wonder what the defense was doing. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. From the end zone, here comes Williams. Williams loses the football. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. So a turnover there on the kickoff. And don't look now, but that just made things a little more interesting. Very interesting, because when you're trailing in a game, these are the mistakes that you're brave for. You just went down and scored. Now you get the football right back. And he's wrapped up. Taken down. Back at the 25. Micah Parsons showing off that elite athleticism as he gets the sack. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. Off the bootleg, Jones. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. That'll give him eight that time. And now we've got a third and four. Operating from the gun. Jones. And did he get the feet down? Yes, touchdown. Evan Ingram from 17 yards out. And the Rams have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Well, he's regarded as one of the best athletes among NFL tight ends, Charles, and it certainly was on display right there. And as we've seen this league continue to... And now remember, all touchdowns are reviewed, and in a tight game Previous like this, they're going to take a good, long look at it. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. McManus' point after is good, and now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And not willing to risk another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. They've been rolling the last couple of drives, each inning in touchdowns. So this game is flipped. They were down. Now they're up with the football. We'll see how they handle it. Can we get a spy on the headset now between the head coach and offensive coordinator? Because they've been in attack mode. Had to get back into the game. Now they have the lead. Do you stay on the attack? Or do you dial it back a little bit to try and protect this lead? Well, my cop-out answer would be somewhere in the middle. I think it's going to be a fine line, is it not? I think you're exactly right. But I do think if they can stay aggressive and keep them on their heels, they'll be best served that way. But now he appears to be in some pain. Hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, is going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Third and four. They go play action with Wilson. And that's caught inside the 35. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. That one goes for 36 yards. <laughs> well, this game is certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been ripped up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defenses have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. Some good games around the league here early in week one, and this one shaping up to be as good as any of them as we come up on a first and ten. 
expected to run for it. The decision again when picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. Now a second and ten. Now Wilson. He's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawks. Touchdown. Russell Wilson now with four touchdown passes on the afternoon. And the Seahawks will add to their fourth quarter lead. And that's certainly an important touchdown there. It makes this a two-score game. But as we've seen, no lead is safe in this one with the way these two offenses have lit up the scoreboard. I would imagine that on their sidelines, they're both yelling at their defenses. Hey, you want to get involved here? One big play from you, that could win the game for us. Extra point up and good by Fulk. And it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. Fulk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. From the end zone, here's Pringle. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. And the Rams getting set to go now. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. To throw on second and ten, Jones. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Jones to throw on third down. And that is incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line, unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. No luck for the Rams as they fail here on fourth down. And boy, possession here turns over with a football already being in the red zone. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Now run by Charbonnet. And he's able to break out a one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Brian Branch from the secondary in on the tackle. Ball at the 14 for second and five. And Charbonnet once again. And the ball is knocked out. And it looks like one of the DBs has it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. But that takeaway, partner, right there, that's a combination of coaching, execution, and absolute belief. Because a lot of guys will look at the scoreboard and go, ah, this thing's pretty well done. But they still thought to themselves, if we could make a play, we give our team we give our teammates a chance to win it. And that's exactly what they did. Jones now following the fumble recovery. He'll throw. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Now Jones on first and ten. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. Heck of a broken tackle and able to work this down near the 23. From the 24, Jones. 
Now a stoppage, and oh, we've got Chubb shaking up on the play. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Here is third down and four. Operating from the gun, Jones. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slam, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Pat Sertan. This one home. It's a touchdown. Now four for the extra point. And that one makes this a 19-point game. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Pringle going to stay in the end zone, and this will come out to the 25. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And that last pick six may have been the backbreaker as they now face a three-score deficit in the fourth quarter. They need points quickly. Got an open man, it's Pringle. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. From the 30 on second down, Jones. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just let him bleed the game out that way. Here's Jones from the gun on third down. And it is caught. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Going up top. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. Throwing again on second and ten. Jones. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a scotch of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, and after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. Desperation time now. Here's Jones. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have the Rams first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. But no reason not to try it there. And they do indeed convert on fourth. So first and ten now from the 30. They'll look to throw again. He's got it complete to Aguilar. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. This is caught. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the 1. And they're going to speed things up here. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And this is caught. He's got a touchdown, L.A. Jarvis Landry with now three week one touchdowns. And the Rams are able to cut into that deficit. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one to five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right. And if you have that one to five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah, yeah, you know. Doesn't feel right. Exactly. Well, CD, you understand. I mean, they're so eager trying to get back in this game here in the fourth quarter, but they touched that one a little too early before it went 10 yards. Brandon, in such a high-stakes scenario, everyone's feeling the pressure on this play. The special teams coordinator, which one is he going to pick in terms of kicks? Can the kicker execute it? Can the team wait for 10 yards? So many variables, and in this case, they didn't get it done. The Rams are going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. 
as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Second down here, Charbonnet. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down, and that should just about do it. And they will take a knee here. They go down to a knee, and the new campaign off to a good start. It's a win here in week one. Well, this was not just the opener of a brand new season, but this was a division game here in week one. And to come through with a 1-0 start against a division opponent gives you a little something extra heading forward for the rest of the season. Yeah, let's pile it all into one game, right? Opening the season and you open within the division, you knew the motivation was going to be there on both sidelines. One just executed better and earned the win. So for the Seahawks, that'll be a happy locker room as they start the season 1-0. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Detroit Lions. Meanwhile, for L.A., they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they will try to get back in the swing of things next week on the road. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.